Hello, and welcome back to this new tutorial on installing and updating the Sophie Unity renderer from source code. This method can be quite handy if you have specific requirements for Sofa versions or if you'd like to contribute to the development of Sophie Unity renderer. However, if you prefer a quicker and simpler installation process, we recommend using the Unity package installation method. Now, let's dive right in. Step 1. Setting up your Unity project. Our first task is to create a new 3D Unity project. If you already have an existing project, feel free to use that. But for the sake of this tutorial, we'll begin by creating a fresh one named SofaUnity underscore install. Please make a note of where you've installed this new project, we'll need to navigate to this folder later on. While Unity is busy creating your project, let's proceed with the next step. Step 2. Downloading the SofaUnity renderer assets. To ensure you have the necessary assets, we'll need to download the Sofa Unity Renderer assets provided by Infinitech 3D. Here's how you can do that, head over to GitHub, specifically the Infinitech 3D company repositories, and locate the Sofa Unity Renderer repository. Once you're there, you have two options, you can either git clone the repository or download the source code of the latest release using the zip archive. In this tutorial, we will directly clone the repository into the Assets folder of your Unity project. Now, if you don't already have Sofa, let's proceed to Step 3, Downloading Sofa. You can obtain it from the sofa-framework.org website. Here, you have the choice to either download a release version or compile it from source. For this tutorial, we'll opt for the pre-built version. Download the zip file and unzip it in your usual project folder. Next, let's copy all the DLL files from the Sofa directory and place them inside the Unity Assets directory under SofaUnity slash plugin slash native slash x64. Following this import, you'll notice a new folder within your project's assets directory, aptly named SofaUnity. If you'd like a comprehensive description of its contents, you can refer to the project's GitHub page. Now, as a step 4, to confirm the successful import, let's take a quick look at one of the example scenes included with the package. Navigate to the Scenes folder within your project. Next, head to it Demos and open the first available scene. This particular scene demonstrates the simulation of a liver attached at its center, responding to gravity. To validate the setup, feel free to start the simulation and experiment with adjusting the gravity value. You should observe corresponding effects on the simulation. And there you have it. You're now ready to explore the possibilities of the Sofa Unity renderer within your Unity project.